today I want to talk a little bit about tuberous sundews, which you know you guys probably just found out about them this year. Most of you did, um, but I started uh, you know obsessing about these plants when I was like 14 years old, about 30 years ago. Um, one of the most beautiful ones here is Drosera major. It used to be a subspecies of Bulbosa. And Alan Lowry, in his magnum opus, when he wrote that, he elevated it up to the species level. Um, it's basically a supersized bulbosa. Um, bulbosa is normally, this would be like a huge regular bulbosa over there. That's a baby major, though. Um, and you can see that's about full size. And something about the tuberous sundews is they're so dewy. Probably because they're actually growing in the wintertime in Australia and getting quite a bit of rain they wouldn't want that mucilage to um, wash off. And so not only is it really gelatinous and dewy, but if I touch it, it doesn't usually come off on my finger. It's totally dry, it sticks to the plant, which is really interesting. There's also a couple stowaway rupicolas in here, Drosera rupicola, right there, right there. This one just coming up. That's actually in the sto Stolonifera complex of tuberous sundews. Um, really beautiful little plant in its own right, and it tends to recede here. Fall in and I always collect all the seeds, and so that's how those guys popped up in there. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed looking at these tubers sundews as much as I do growing them.